Second brevet, there we go, a thousand kilometers. Let's do it. The day started with a three hours train ride from Amsterdam to Maastricht where the brevets started. I had a broken finger because I crashed a few days before the event but I was able to repair my bike on time for the brevet. It's really cold. <laughs> Here to pick up the brevet car to start the thousand kilometers. I chose to do this brevet of a thousand kilometers to be able to pre-register for Paris Brest Paris in the first groups. This route starts in Maastricht, then goes to Belgium, France, Germany, and back to Maastricht, and it has ten control points. First one. First rabbit, what's your plan? My game plan, uh, I will try to adjust to uh, Nicole's sleeping uh, wishes. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's really warm. You have to complete the route in a designated time limit, drafting is allowed and you get your brevet card which you have to stamp at every checkpoint. In this case there were no stamps but you have to take a picture at the checkpoint. Okay, so 38 kilometers, first flat, hopefully last flat. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, fingers broken. <laughs> <laughs> Four pack of Haribo. <laughs> Cargo pants with pockets perfect to store some mositos for later. The route was super nice, following mostly cycle paths and roads near Le Meuse, a river rising from France and following through Belgium and the Netherlands before draining into the North Sea. There were plenty of villages and towns along the way to resupply water and food and we were quite lucky that the first day the wind was from the back, so we were going at a good pace. The terrain started to get a bit hilly towards the end, perfect to burn the last calories of the day before finding an accommodation to spend the night. With a late start on Thursday at 10 a.m. we managed to do 290 kilometers before reaching our accommodation in France. There were no many places that had check-in until 11 so we decided to arrive a bit early and treat ourselves to a good night of sleep. Slept 5 hours? Yeah, yeah. really worth it. <laughs> it's really cold.
During the morning we catch up to some randoners who spend the night outside at checkpoint 3 in Verdun. <laughs> the second day was tougher as the wind direction changed and it was not longer from the back and the terrain started to become more hilly. Sandwich. We carried food with us from checkpoint to checkpoint, but it was really funny there were some vending machines for pizza in the middle of nowhere. Ice cream with this heat tastes like heaven. <laughs> I two ice cream, all of this, and water for ten euros. Half time. Half. Halfway through. This is checkpoint. Five. Five. Checkpoint five. <laughs> A few half the distance to go on the way to Germany. <laughs> Second or third croissant of the day? <laughs> Second croissant of the day. They are the best in France. We are now in uh, Germany and decided to stop at McDonald's, of course, every good trip has a McDonald's stop. Uh, so now heading to one of the checkpoints, we went from France to Germany. Really tired, uh, it's really warm. Completely flat. Yeah, I was just trying to start, it started to bounce. I was like, fuck. Thanks to an early morning start, we managed to do 322 kilometers despite having some mechanical problems with the derailleur and two flat tires. And we went from France all the way to Germany. Now the climbing starts. Huh? It was 4 in the morning and we didn't have any food left, only some Haribo. After waking up we decided to go down to the garage of the hotel to get our bikes. But uh, I had two flat tires the day before and my tire was completely flat so we had to put another Dyna plug on the tire and I hope that it held air and on top my light was not working so I had to use my headlamp instead so a lot of issues that caused a delay of half an hour.
After climbing early in the morning to the highest point of the route, we follow the river Moselle all the way in the area of the Rhine Palatine where they grow wine. It's the second largest area where they grow wine in Germany. First stop of the day, so this is day three. We've been cycling through the wine area, really beautiful. And now first stop of the day for food. More randomers here stopping to have the early morning breakfast. It's around seven, I think. Heute Morgen eine Brötchen. Yeah. <laughs> This was a really beautiful area but was good to go there in the morning because afterwards it got really busy. You have plenty of beautiful bridges and castles. First supermarket break of the day in Germany to review Lositos and some water because it's getting really warm. Another flat on my front tire, the tire already had two Dynaplugs, so we applied the third Dynaplug on the day because it was spilling sealant everywhere, luckily the tire held the air and I continued riding so I didn't have to put an inner tube and I was hoping it would hold until the finish line which I was hoping to reach Maastricht by the end of the day. The last 100 kilometers were particularly tough as we had the wind from the front. Last stop at Lidl, the last 20k, always the most difficult ones. Oh, let's see. In the end, we managed to complete the whole distance on that day 402 kilometers, finishing the 1000 kilometer brevet in 60 hours on time to catch the last train to Amsterdam, so we had to rush to the train station. It was a really fun experience and looking forward for the qualifier brevets for Paris Brest Paris. Finished the brevet on the way back home. It's like two in the morning. Ah, it was nice. It was nice. The last 100k were a bit long, but just looking forward to go to sleep. Thank you.